Have you ever thought why 99% of Indian students only want to go to US, UK, Canada, Australia, or even New Zealand? Only those like English speaking country or so to speak developed country for their higher education, 99% of them, why? Even some of the parents, they are willing to spend their lifetime saving to send their children to those for, to those these countries for their higher education. Maybe most of them are thinking and hoping that their kids can follow the so to speak successful step of those Indian who went to US to study and become the CEO of Google, CEO of the Microsoft, and the CEO of IBM. But they don't know. Now the time has changed. U.S. is not longer the desirable um, destination for um, higher the high study for those students who only have limited funding. Asia, in fact, Asia country has become the power. I mean, powerhouse of the world economy. So, when you are choosing where to go for your higher education. Here I want to share with you one of the book which published in 2018. It called Rule Makers and Rule Breakers. How Tight and Rules Culture Shape Our World by a Stan I mean Stanford MBA professors. The book actually lists a different perspective of a culture comparison which not only impact their political system, but also inspire the different behavior of the people. I found that, I mean, this points are very, those points are very useful for me and you individual as well. They can help us to examine our behavior when we are making our decision so that we can outperform the cloud. So, this is very interesting. Huh? So they, they divide the culture into loose culture and the tight culture, okay, in terms of strictness, yeah? For example, they are not essential different between the traffic rules between, I mean, Germany, which is representative of the tight culture, and U.S., the representative of loose culture. We all stop in the red light, and then we all go in the green light, right? But in Germany, even when it's only one, I mean, even it's only one, I mean, um, you know, pet, um, pedestrian who want to cross to the other intersection in the middle of night, late night. If it's a red light in Germany, nobody cross until it's a green light. So we call it's a very tight culture. But in US, if it's a, in, in the middle of the night, we don't care, not we don't care. Most of the people, whether it's a red light or, or green light, if they see no people, even one people, they cross, right? So the biggest advantage of those, I mean, culture is that they are more creative. They have more, they have more creativity. People don't worry about the criticism and they, so they can speak very frankly, right? So they can all buy the idea. They can speak crazily too. On the other hand, if you are in the, tight culture like Germany, because you don't know what kind of chain reaction you are going to, I mean, from others going to be. So you will be very cautious, I mean, caution, cautious about what you say and what you do. In this book, in her book, it's very, and there's a very disturbing conclusion I really want to share with you. That the tightness of the culture doesn't, they have the great impact and the social classes, social class, like social class means like rich people, middle class and poor people. Normally we, we, class, we classify the classes according to the income, education, I, I, mean, I mean, your job, occup, I mean, occupation, where you live. Okay, but in this book, we say the different level of tightness in their culture sometimes really distinguish that you are from higher class or from lower class. So I want to make sure that you, I mean, you examine yourself, you are from the higher class or lower class. In the same society, 
The lower class, generally they are all more of the tight culture. The higher class, they are generally a little bit loose culture. Because in the lower class, they are consistently face some great threat, like the threat of poverty. If you cannot live without your monthly salary, you probably don't want to think could take to be a risk taking person, right? If you, I mean, you have to be, you have to strictly follow the rules in order to be safe and not to get fired. And if you are surrounded by the people who value the discipline, you probably will not encourage your children to persuade individuality or even do things differently. So you always follow other people's steps, just like the people who follow US or UK. However, the upper class people, they experience the world as a safe and welcoming. So they are getting good fruits from their new trying and their adventures. So they're very interesting here. I want you guys to experiment too. So they're interesting um, experiment. So they are, there's a five pins, right? There are five pins. There are four black and one orange. So we, we ask you to choose one, which one you will choose. Yeah. So for those lower class people, they want to follow, they would most lower class people, they choose black because they, they want to follow the majority. And those people who are in the higher, higher upper class, they generally choose the only orange pen. They choose the different things. So how does this happen? How does it apply to going to the US and UK? It's a safe to choose the majority, the black pen. But going to Taiwan, the orange one, it might be seems to be higher risk, which is really not though, by the way, but higher return. Now you have the chance to choose the black or gold orange. Today, all the professor, they are providing the orange pen opportunity in Taiwan for you and the chance to upgrade yourself. This is my opening. Thank you.